Audi celebrates qualifying. A qualifying that provided plenty of action, that sparked discussions at Mercedes and in which Mike Rockefeller sparked a surprise. Remarkably, and for the first time, Rockefeller claimed pole position. Well, I'm, I'm obviously quite happy, um, or very happy. Uh, the team did a great job, they, they had a perfect strategy and um, at the end, uh, you know, we had the freshest tyre in Q4, so that was important. The tyres are the decisive factor. Points leader Bruno Spengler was in a pensive mood just before qualifying and indeed, he already was a loser. Because he had used an unmarked tyre in free practice, he will be docked two positions for the race. Things went even worse for Felipe Albuquerque, stuck in the gravel trap, red flag Q1, the first qualifying session had to be stopped. All drivers back to the pits and one into the workshop. This track just provokes mistakes. The drivers were only hundreds of a second apart. Here, for instance, Mortara having busy times. Keeping cool, very British, this is Gary Paffett's fine British way. The Brit grew up only 20 kilometers away from the track. He has good chances of winning his home race. Eventually, he ended up second in qualifying behind Rockefeller. Yeah, very happy. Um, it's, it's, it's tough here at Brands Hatch in qualifying because the times are so close and it's very easy to make a mistake. It's some real challenging corners here. And what about the championship? Not inside and almost beyond reach for Timo Scheidt. The third place from the driver's standings for the first time this season failed to make it into the top 10. Only 12, a little bit too slow. Yeah, frustrating again. Um, we are struggling still with their quality performance and uh, being a P12 is frustrating for sure. But uh, just 900 behind the, the leading pack, that's uh, a shame because I felt um, Reasonable strong this weekend and I uh, had a good feeling. We changed the setup completely after free practice sessions to the quality session. I was a bit scared about that, but uh, it was a good choice. But uh, like it looked like, not, not enough. Concerning the championship, Mercedes might need a new strategy for Bruno Spengler. The points leader eventually was classified sixth, but because of his grid penalty, he will only be starting the race from eighth place. Would that jeopardize his title hopes? Position eight is not the best position to start from, especially here in Brian's Hatch, because uh, you, it's not a track where you can overtake really well. But the race is very long. We have 98 laps. His main and closest rival, Martin Tomczyk, is only seven points down on Spengler and will be starting five places ahead of him. Tomczyk, third in qualifying, already was able to take over the championship lead at Brands Hatch four years ago. It's uh, very... Uh, very helpful when you get all the sectors together. Uh, that was the case, definitely. And I mean, uh, third position today, it's definitely a good start for tomorrow's race, especially when my uh, main enemy, uh, Bruno, is uh, some places behind me. Mike Rockenfeller doesn't play a role in the battle for the championship, but he very much wants to play a role in the outcome of the race. Eventually, Rockenfeller had the best tires in qualifying. It took him almost 42 seconds to claim pole at Brands Hatch, ahead of Paffett, Tomczyk and Jamie Green. Extra is fifth on the grid here, a good result, just like sixth place for Ralf Schumacher. Bruno Spengler is relegated to eighth place. Three British drivers are further down. Jarvis 14th, Coulthard 16th and Susie Stoddard only 17th. But the home advantage could be bigger right in time for the race. Typical British weather has been forecast and at Brands Hatch everything can happen. Just ask Mike Rockefeller.